away. Able to do so. And Flight jumps onto the illusion only, so the hookshot won't be able to connect. But Anna, he needs to retreat. There's so much damage. Anna, 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 down. Buyback is available. They still have not taken the mid racks. OG are just trying to delay LGD for the moment. Five heroes around. The bubble is there protecting the melee racks. Anna. Sunder. Anna once again, the Sunder switches the life. Armage back up to full health. But the damage from Thompson, it's good enough to kill up the base. Buyback is there. Somnus leads forward. They just keep bunching them around. But they're still battling from inside the bubble. Pugna will come to the world. Living LGD. They're going for the GG push. They're going up to the tier four towers. OG, they have to hold the line. They have the numbers. Seven for the with a day gone oh, army, but no! Thunder is back up! It is there! Chalice will fall! They lose the Enchantress! FY pushing around Anna! He's so low! Can they get the die back on him? You bet your Nelly they can! Army still very, very low! The blast will kill him off! But buyback! LGD want this now! LGD, or can they? Back enough? No, they're not! Terrorblade! BT's forward! The ball is up! Thompson needs to defend! X over very visible! You've got a very, very low life Mirada! But OG, they can't find the target! X Nova! He's got the Grip. He's got the control, he's got the kill. Thompson is down, but he is up. Where the echo slam oh, there is. Pushing forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. There's the play. Girax, the savior of OG. He's from a loser, loser. Actually, Armin's gonna get caught up by the tornado though. They've opened up onto him, Army, trying to get on top of Anna. The BKB pop by Challenge will get the ult out. No tail getting gone on straight away by M5 with the snowball. No tail's dead for 100. They'll get the chain, Anna. In the midst of it, trying to lock down onto FY. The rest of his team are about to come over to get the tornado. Out onto X over Sam. Looking for the cool control onto Arme. Has he got it? Arme getting stunned up by the cold snap, but he's able to wait for him. The Hyper Thompson blinks in. He gets the hex out, but FY with the snowball save. They get the match out. Saunders will be able to find the Ayo, but they're fully low on GD. That's Saunders there for two minutes. They get Thompson. Thompson there for two minutes. It's only Anna. Anna, can he do it here? Is it half out? RP. Yeah. Bottom lane. No tail trying to set up onto Somnus. They'll remnant forward out of The boat's already out though for Somnus. Somnus trying to look at the trees. He's hunting actually down. No tail. The global silence comes out. Anna not quite able to get on top of X Nova. As X Nova keeps his distance. Somnus just turning and beating down on No Tail. No Tail will go down as well as saw X Nova. One for one at the moment. The sentry's down here from OG. They have eyes on Somnus. Seb still holding him for the side. Then there'll be a buyback from No Tail. The boat, the stolen boat, the RP coming through. They're jumping in. The web boys there with a the slam, ready to hold off for the fight. But Chalice is so low. Chalice is going to go down. PSG OG, they've lost three. And fight with the TPL won't make it. The slide of fist, the change. Anna catches out the shaker. Can he TP back in time before the curse kills him? They're gonna head into the pit, OG. They're confident, knowing Seb can sit there on the high ground, ready with the counterplay, Arme. Getting sprouted, Chalice looks to make a play, jumps in, immediately going for it with the lasso. Has he got the control to get the damage out? He can. That's gonna be Arna dead, but Anna buys back straight away, Arme moving in with the BKB. Roche that's still alive throughout this all. They've lost Thompson, the slide, the chains, the remnant across. They'll get the kill onto Chalice, Bubble. but now Anna, he's in the middle of it all. Yulted himself up, the flame guard ticking it by down like the slide of Fizz. The RP, Seb, he's got the control onto Arme. As OG, they find three, they look towards Somnus, surrounding him in the pit, Somnus, he'll go down as well. The buyback from Anna, securing the fight here for OG. There's only Exover left alive, but not for long. They chase him down, they get the T-Y triple kill for Anna. It's going to be quite an issue for them. Chalice is in with the opener, straight in with the lasso, the tower will fall, but they'll drag back the Ember Spirit into the turret, cut him down with the tiebringer, he's dead once, but on the side, they find Arme, Arme's dead for 60, still alive at the moment, and all the Yules, the dodge, and uh, up into the end, dodging the Echo Slap, Somnus, he's trapped here in the Sprout, OG, they'll slowly punch down the Kuka, the Stall of Finch and Jurax sets up onto F1, to the side, Somnus, can he get himself back to the fountain? He'll turn, he'll clean out the summons there with the Tidebringer here. Tops but he's back. stuck in the tree line. Anna just going for the kill. Is Somnus still alive? They get themselves now a bigger target, potentially Arme. Arme, he's sprouted. He has got something. Can he get it off? He can't. Arme cut down as the tier falls now, being taken by OG. There's all the Tidebringer. People, the Chalice. It's another down! OG, oh, can they get Somnus? Somnus? 
He's doing his best to hold. 10 seconds before he's got teammates back in set. Feeling Somnus away from the fountain. And is on top of this Somnus. Down to half health. He's trying to retrieve for the chains. They get themselves another Somnus taken down. Azame with a BKB reflection. Anna starting to be forced back. They have got X Nova and FY back in the game now. No Echo Slam or Global. The Ancient is exposed. As OG, the Nimbus no, down, the shockwave from Seb gets themselves another. They're onto the Ancient. OG. OG. They've done, done it. it. They have they done it. Have done it. The power of flowers and friendship. I've done it here, ladies and gentlemen. Your grand champions of TIA. It's OG. Unless a big initiation from Newbie is able to connect. Anna and Thompson, the ones on the front line. Remember, Anna still got that Agos Immortal. You are copping heavy damage early on. The rest of OG, Smoke sitting behind, CC and C, nice toss back, they pull Anna in, so deep under the tier 4 towers, they kill him quickly, the CC and C, pounced on by the rest of OG, he won't have the ability to fight again here, as it stops, it puts all of Newbie to sleep, under the tier 4 towers, the soul mine tries to connect, has they actually got anything to, can they kill Anna once again with the soul assumption, he's just tanking through all of this, with the one charges, Thompson stacking everybody up as well with the core sprays, they can get back to base, but even that's not safe, one more spray, maybe snaking will die, Thompson waiting, under the tower, he's just taking through all of it. A triple kill for Thompson. Nowhere is safe when OG hit their timing. They love playing this hero that can buy back and reconnect to the fight. And this is the only other hero in the game they can put on on except Nature's Prophet. Maybe that's the next one he'll play carry. Who, do, who sure. knows? Uh, but yeah, he's getting the heart. This kill is ridiculously difficult oh, to jump perform. Jump in, toss back, they found themselves a target. As Crystal back with a fresh Assault Curus. That's a lot of life and armor they have to get through. Yuaz giving it a shot. OG have come in deep, CC and C once again, just stunned up a control from the back line, trying to create more space. They'll be the first one to die here. Aurora is finally out, but for what a fail. Nothing is really going here, and Thompson, he's the man that's going, going, going into the fountain once again. Bathe in the glory of the Radiant. He just does not give a crap. Anna will give all the life. This is just fountain farming. GG, you got it. This is soul breaking. GG. Okay. GG. <laughs> the message has been sent. You won home. But we smashed through the door and delivered it. Just trying to see what they can force out here. But back in the mid lane, Alchemist, he's gone in with the big BKB. He's gone on creepy and the right clicks with the BKB is going to be enough. And now RTZ in trouble. He's been abyssal bladed up. He's locked in place. Where's the Bastion? Says that he doesn't quite find it. The Ravage is there. And Anna, he's got no buyback. He's going to be so careful not to go down here. But he's got so much health regen from the chemical rate. Two males wailing away. And if the right clicks is the clip's going to be enough. He doesn't have Jeez. the damage. The cheese is there. And now two males getting bashed up. Stuns followed up. And GG. GG. Drop game one of this two game series. Oh gee, they played so well. And he can then ignore and look for the more volatile kills. And he's acting as this super frontliner. And Bristleback is a hero that if you don't have mana, you don't have damage. So if he's just gonna be burning the bristle, I, I can see it. You know, I can see it. And he's super farmed, and look how tanky he is. 2000 HP on the gyro. There's gonna be an MKB finish now for Weeha, so his damage is gonna be very high as Seb's getting slowed down. He's got greens available, but he's getting burst. And they're bringing him low. Oh, he's got the shield. Now they'll be able to turn. Cooldown's dropped down by Thompson. And here we have it. Miracle. His man is gone. He's able to pop the stick, get him a fair bit of it back. And he's able to head back in, pushing OG back behind the racks. They're getting a good amount of damage onto this tier 3 tower liquid. They push on. On Io, that spirit hero damage is there now. But they're going to join the fray finally. There we have it. Miracle's mana. It's pretty much entirely gone by Thompson's focus. He'll look for a GAG. He's trying to hold, but he can't get out. There's no mana. GH. He's dead. And now OG. They have that numbers advantage for this defense. They'll try and change Never. the ball. Thompson. They're working for a high freeze miracle down. There's the shackle turn around. They're looking for Jarek. Jarek's backing away. Thompson focusing miracle. Miracle still out of mana because of this defuse. Jarek, Jarek. He's in with the cover. The GA is out. We all will fall though. The magic damage is there for Thompson. Miracle's trying to run. Another stick charge pop, but Jarek can shut him off. In fact, Jarek, he's ready to try and look for more potentially. There's only the ones. To go for the back line. Thompson, he's on top of Kuro. Another cool down there. The toss back into the combo. Jarek oh has the control. God. They're all getting picked apart as my control falls. Miracle is surrounded. And they're all dead. Able to get this. 
as well. OG, they will hold. And they're even taunting. They taunt into the dragon. Liquid right now. It's just not there. And OG's ready to go back. back. And again, Jackson with the wrap around the combo. Now onto Mind Control. The cool has there. Liquid has to back off. Again, Mind Control's mad at pretty much not. He's able to pop the stick. Get the GA off at least. Can they fight for the duration of it though? They're heading towards Sam. Reels the pop. Sends back pretty much up to four. Jackson with the double combo. Onto We Are. We Are stunned up. We Are dead. Miracle of the UFO. Missed the miss up. Follow through. OG pushing Liquid back to the base. Mind Control that man at top. So with a diffuser blade picking them apart. Roll four for GA for Sam. Cuts him down. Oh, oh, oh. Double kill. They're pushing on OG. Liquid getting forced back to the base. And Liquid have nothing. They have nothing to offer for. They're just giving. Look at this. They're diving down in TI finals. They want Karoki in the bounce as well. They're going to get him. They're chasing Miracle as well. Oh my god. I can't believe this. I can't believe what we're seeing in this game for OG. You thought you saw it all against you. You thought it saw it against you. There it is. No. OG. It wasn't worth it. No IO save this time though. That's the danger of the relocate. Nothing to say outside of vision. They don't see him. Now they do. The pullback gonna be able to get that skewer. The <laughs> vision not quick enough. And nothing to say goes down. Now looking for more. Ame has to be careful. Zinq there as well. Oh, Ooh, but Ame nice. with the waveform through it. Brilliant play. And Aeon disc this. afterwards. Now the chase looking for more. Can they control? Do they have enough for the kill? The terrorize comes out, but he got the strength form off. Faith Beyond jumps away. The steward back on to two. And the RP. Oh, collapsed it into him again. And look, they're just surrounding him. There's no chance to help. They have oh. the bio, they have the shaker, but. There is nothing else left in the tank there for Ame, although trying to TP out, but the stun comes through right at the end. And LGD, another triple kill for Yatoro. And Y will manage to escape from that one, but a huge win for Spirit here in game number two. Yeah, that would be kind of nice. You can see Team Spirit not comfortable just hitting away in the Roche pit. Nothing to say walks in. Yadaro up front and center. Jeez. Nothing to say. They jump in. There's the, the control. The damage out. Mapochka's dead. Buys back immediately. Yadaro turns to fight. Destroys. Nothing to say. They've got him. Caught to the side. Ame in some trouble. Hitting from the low ground. How many misses are there? It doesn't matter. As they chase him down and kill him off. A great win for Team Spirit as they will find more and more. Unbelievable. Oh, the chase continues. Yaro just chases him down. And Echo afterwards trying to buy a little bit of space. Nothing to say, but can they kill Collapse? Trying to take him down, but no, it won't happen. On the side, Toronto Tokyo will fall with a big stun afterwards. Yaro moving in. He's big, he's bad, he's Luna trying to kill him off. The fear, the pullback, Collapse, he's got him. ZQ looking dead as well as they turn and hit. Another one bites the dust, but they buy back now. On ZQ, Faith Beyond getting absolutely shredded. Yaro is too big. As they catch him in again, the pushback, they got him caught and gonna maybe find the kill. Nothing to say, down low, dead. Another huge win, Team Spirit. They won't be denied. The horn toss catches onto ZQ oh, and Yaro just slaughter. The way they play these fights, they're so in sync with one another. GG oh. is called. They call it a Cinderella. Let's see what they can do around this pit. They're still down 16k PSG LGD, but they've got all their ults up. Can they make any sort of steal? They've already managed to set up here onto the Kunkka. They're going to go straight to work. Yatora coming in with a BKB. The Kars holds back on the side. Nothing to say. He's going to go down. Out for 110. Yatora is ready to step over to his next target. He's looking over towards Arme. Collapse. Popping the BKB. And Maposhka keeping himself alive with the cold embrace. Spirit. They'll turn over towards Arme. But Arme still got the BKB to go. He's killed off another support. He's looking at Toronto Tokyo. Toronto Tokyo by the of the yours. He's got another remnant. Slight miss into the remnant of the high ground. He's away. But look at why. He's stuck oh. on the cliff. Why? Dude, look at how carefully they're playing it. They're scared to walk yeah, up here and try to kill him. <laughs> Watch like... <laughs> oh, they got him. There we go. They'll take him off the cliff. But look at Roche. Oh, oh he's killing Roche. Oh, no, he can't do it, surely. Blink out time, collapse. He's got his eyes on him. Still no nothing to say or why for 50 seconds. Ahmed's alone. He's gone in alone. That was a risky move. He's got the back of a Jin Q. But Spirit, they're going to chase on. Slight chase, Arme, oh, he's gone. Two minutes, no, Tiny. Ancient exposed. Only two left. Can they stop a PSG LGD? I don't think they can. GQ's got it over. over. It's GG. It's over, GG. They've got it. They have done it, Team Spirit. They come into the grand finals. Two games straight up. They take them away from PSG LGD. Game three, game four. PSG LGD, they hit back, but the game five, even though they get knocked
down in three and four spirit. They come back with the same skill and ability that's taken them this whole road to the grand finals. Opportunity to get it. Yadro walks high ground. They're under award here. Catches dead shot. Hex again. So ready. Stunned. Now on to two, but there's no follow-up. Kirtic now tries to get onto him. Yadro turns. Hasn't popped that much yet as Collapse tries to back away. Laro under control. Silence. Disarm. Still fine. But Poshka oh, splits the cheese. Now the kick back. He kicks him away. Oh! Splits the uprights. And dead in an instant. That's TA gone. That's more. This might be the fight they were waiting for. Kirtic starts to die. The supernova's out. Notice under control. They're gonna get that stun. No! The snowball save! Poshka, the man, on top of it. They find more, kill him off again. Triple kill, Yadaro. That is what Spirit needed. He's too quick, Jesus. <laughs> I was worried for a minute. The Bristleback is in, though. In comes Collapse, just running down Panda. Hero after hero. They're kicking him away. They're kicking him out of the tier fours. What is going on right now? They're going to doom him. They're going to doom the Aegis Bristleback. He's just running around doing whatever he wants, and he doesn't care. Die the fountain. Kick him in. Kick him in. He's asking for it. He's going, go on, buddy. Do it. Do it. Oh, my God. Oh, no. We'll see if they can pull that off. A triple stifling dagger coming out as well. Throwing out bashes, what throwing cool. out damage. Collapse, two-man call. That is perfect. Double Mystic Flare coming up as well. Skyrim Alex doing work. Matthew's dead. Immediate buyback. Look at the punch. He's getting destroyed. Yatoro takes him out. Moves across towards Sea Smile. He's gone as well. You fail to find the Phantom Assassin, and you are going to have a bad time. Lal jumping in now as well. Trying to get on top of the pesky Bristleback. Call comes through. He stuns him up for the time being, but the moment... Oh, oh my goodness. The Birdstone, it almost keeps him alive. But not quite in the end. He does get out and Panda falls as well. Everybody dead. Yeah, you know, it's something. I don't think I've ever seen more player use Mira. Yeah. It's jump new. He's got the EM, just got the ready. He can continue to follow this up on the side. Maposka does his down to Maybe they can find more here as Mira also take a heavy damage from the illusion. They what an angle. Was Lala Lala. Get the torch storm on the BKP off. Tries to step back. The get torch is in the midst of the fight. The torch storm continues to throw him up. Big RP. RP locked down in the center. Take him nothing to say down. As he's out for two minutes. Yatoro also able to fight. They get Shiro as well. Uh, they don't have buybacks. Solutions got... pumped out. It was in already. He's wrapping right around the back. Pops the Shiva's guard. Yatoro. On this. They're not planet. planet. They found the Grimstroke. Planet's out of the fight. Buys fight. back straight away. You see here, New and Shira still trying to see if they can wrap around for the side of the Book of the Dead. It's out upon them, kind of stopping them from being able to lead them in the way that they want it. Shiro. They found him. Shiro gets the grab back. Straight away into the RP. Full focus over with the Gauss down. They're taking Shiro down. They found MTS. Yes. Collapse. He gets another. The second round. Ready to go. Over the wall. Nothing to say. Nothing to say. Pop the BKB. Trying to TP out of this one. But you try to cover them. Triple kill for Yatoro. And nothing to say. Goes down. Instant buyback for the Tinker. Very far. But he's got the Shadow Breaker. Lay down the stage. Shoot him off the side of it. The jump of the Leakers is there. He's able to get away from the initial attempt. From it. But still there. The RP. Not just they drags him back towards the rest of the team. They're they bringing Yatoro down. Team is coming in with Spirit. Can they find Lupin? It was the fallback. Tidal wave there. Nothing to say, the Magnus will fall. Here comes Collapse. He drags back Shira. They fully focus the Spectres. The top fell out there for a while. Double kill for Collapse. A spirit, they'll lose your tour, but they make up the pay. They'll find the third. Triple kill for Collapse. Your tour is going to take his chance to Deep poke. First down. Oh, man. Before you can even complete the sentence, he's already gone. They do have an Ice Blast, though, that's pretty well positioned. Taraccio's already cleaned up the Grimstroke. It's not too bad, but Taraccio, he needs to get out of there. It's, oh, my God, that's so much. Buy back from it's the too Spectre. much damage. Spectre has to win this now. But he has to be has able to, to that something. dazzle. They have to be able to take away this Aegis at the bare minimum. Surely they have to go for more. They have to risk it. Collapse is going to charge on through to make sure you can't set up on Yatora. Now Yatora will turn back around on you. He's ready for that fight. He pulls back into Durantio. This could be it for Gaming Gladiators. And let's find a way out of it. Quinn's dead next. Now Durantio, a dive back for him. He falls. Don't lose both back in. He is pulled to his He holds him in place. He can't do anything against that, but at least the Brewmaster can. Gets and they the kick him in. The throne is exploded. And now he's been pulled Welcome back Welcome to hell. In. Oh, no. It is too much for Gaming Gladiators to be able to handle. They are they're not going to be able to get through this. They have to pray to get out, but the Cathedral is merciless. It is Team Spirit who are unstoppable. They will take it. The best team in the whole goddamn world, without a doubt. Silence every other team.